Hey folks, what's up? This is Custom Wheels, Ground Effects. Brother Ock here speaking. About to show you how to do a 28. First, you gotta understand, you know, when it comes to doing the 28 rim, you want something nice. So we're gonna be dealing with the chrome. Some call it a snowflake. We're gonna be knocking it out so we can make somebody happy, make somebody look good. So with that, let's get started. First thing first, Working with the machine. Got to get them up on the machine, get it clamped in, and get it popping. And then we're going to roll from there. Now, once you get it up on the machine, as you can see, nicely clamped in. You don't want to do a face-up mount with a metal head. So you definitely want to change the head out to a more suitable head. So we're going to do plastic on this because hard plastic won't scratch the rim. And it's always about protecting the rim. You never wanna compromise your rim. Your rim is everything. Why? Because that's the product. So with that, we're gonna change out the head first. And then we're gonna pretty much go from there. So let's get that done. Let's change out the head on the arm. Now as you can see, the arm don't necessarily sit perfectly. It's a little ajar. So you gotta adjust it just a little bit in order for it to fit. So what we want to do is lift it back up a little bit, hold it, drop it like it's hot, lock it in place, and let it come down like that. So sitting on the rim nice and firm. Tricky. Don't ever want to scratch the rim. So with that, it needs a valve stem. We're gonna be using a regular valve stem today. This is the valve stem. But our dish can't put no air in it. And you definitely want to be able to put air in it. So you want to get the valve stem in. And you use a valve stem puller. Mine's a little beat up. Got a brand new one, but I don't need it at this time. So we ain't going to be working with it. Just move this around. So here we are. Insert the valve stem in. Screw this on, a little balance, and you pull it in. Sometimes I use a rag to get some more leverage. Sometimes it just, just be enough leverage. So with that, we got the valve stem in, and we're gonna move it from there. Here at Custom Wheels, ground effect. So once you get the valve stem in, you wanna lube up the, the actual rim, because you don't wanna see the drip, that's good lube. You don't wanna try to put a tire on the rim with no lube, because then the grip is immaculate. <laughs> you won't never get the tire to go down. You'll be fighting with all your might. You get the lube on there, lube it up pretty well. Makes it a lot easier for you. You always set the valve stem area here, right behind the actual arm, just in case they got a sensor. In this case, there's no sensor on the valve stem, so we still want to do it that way so you don't never ever forget. You always just be pretty much in order. What lugs can you use from the Mercedes Benz? Them, you know, the factory, crazy the factory lugs. Okay, we're going. So now that it's all lubed up, we're going to put the tire up here. You know, see, notice I got a rag on there because, you know, it's chrome. You don't want to put a tire up there with its gravel and it scratches the rim because then they'll be talking to you about how you scratch the rim. So we want to get that up there like that. Now you want to check the tire, because some tires tell you if they're outside oh, or if they're the inside. Head came off. The head's off, two of them. All right, so with that, you find out where is it inside or outside. And in this case, this side is the inside, so we're going to um, lubricate that, and we're going to go from there. And you want to lube it up real nice because you don't want to struggle with the tire. And once you get it nice and lubed up like that all the way around, inside and out, that'll start the process on you getting ready to get it on there. And that's the most important, excuse me, because, you know, I had to put the hat on. It's kind of cold. We are in winter, you know, or in the form of what's about to be winter, even though they're manipulating the weather, what you know about that. But other than that, you move it around so that way you can get it nice and sound. 
And now that we got it nicely lubed and we know what side it's supposed to be on, we're gonna bring the tire down. Bring it down, see how that slides so nice and good. That's based off the lube. Makes it easier. We're gonna bring down the arm, because we need the arm. Now we got the arm. Boom. Once we get the arm on there, we're gonna rotate it with a little pressure so that way it falls evenly the way you need it. Boom. Once that on there, we're gonna remove the towels. Grab my trusty protection for the bars. Gripping metal bars and mess your hands up after a while. And we don't stay young forever. Things heal slow as you get older. So with that, put the protection on, strap it up, make sure it's solid, and we go from there. And then we get our trusty bar. Boom. Once you get the trusty bar, we're gonna bring the arm down here. Maneuver this is over, so we want to make sure the arm is setting right so that we rotate real good with the lip sitting on top of the actual waist arm so that way when it rotates it'll fall in instead of being stuck or being pushed by this part because that can also rip it if you're using a metal head. You don't want to rip the tire. That's a lot of money. And with that, let's rotate this and get the 28 started. Boom! Oh. Now, as you can see, it rolls up over here, which that was supposed to happen. You want to get it as much as possible, but this is a lot of strain. We're going to push it in like so. We're going to do that again. Like so. Until the actual head of the arm catches. And the moment it catches, we'll be good. But until then, it will lose a lot of strength. So now that it's caught, you definitely got to come over here and bring the other side down. And yes, it's not a weak man's job. We're losing our arm, our actual head over there. So I'm gonna do something where I don't like doing, but I'm gonna leave that brace there and see if I can come up a little bit. All right, head is giving out on me. Yes, it is. See if I can manipulate that a little bit. That's a trick for you, boy. The head here has moved, it gave out on me. Which that happens. Boy, when that happens, that sucks. Because you may have to start it all over. But let's see. See what happened here. Yeah, the head gave out. It's not holding as much as I wanted it to. And I'm at my max now. So y'all actually seeing the real process of doing this. It ain't never easy. It's not gonna hold. You can see that now. Now that we're looking good, and we got a better rim, I mean a better face on the rim, we're going to see what happens. That last arm, that last arm, man, that last arm is just not treating nobody right. All right, we're back where we is at. We're going to release some tension and see what happens. We leave a little more tension and see what happens. And bada boom, there you go. 28 mounted. Sometimes things take time. Sometimes things take a little pressure. 
But as you can see, boom! Custom wheels, ground effects, brother out. We knocked it out. And all you gotta do after this, is pretty much just got the arm up, put some air in it, balance it, and you all set. So right here, you done seen it, 28 mounted, little muscle, little grit, but we get it in. With that, peace, peace.